T. W. Robertson, Jr., Jr., Jr. Jarrett Waite Robertson, Jr., Washington, D.C., October 11, 1914, Chapel Hill, North Carolina, July 26, 1992, was a scholar of medieval English literature and especially Geoffrey Chaucer. He taught at Princeton University from 1946 until his retirement in 1980 as the Murray Professor of English and was widely regarded as this the 20th century's most influential Chaucer scholar. Early Life Robertson studied at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill where he received his Ph.D. degree in 1944. His dissertation on the work of Robert Manning, a study of certain aspects of the cultural tradition of handling sin, was written under the direction of G.R. Kaufman. Subsequently, he revised and published three important articles from it. Robertson taught briefly at the University of Maryland before joining the faculty at Princeton in 1946, where he remained for the rest of his career. Scholarly Career Robertson's deeply historical approach to medieval English literature challenged and even angered many of the leading medievalists of the mid-20th century. Opposition to Robertson's critical approach at length took the form of a scholarly debate at the meeting of the English Institute of 1958-59. The book of papers published from that event proved that Robertson's exegetical criticism, sometimes simply called Robertsonianism, had many learned supporters as well as opponents. Robertson's magnum opus was published in 1962 by Princeton University Press, a preface to Chaucer. Studies in Medieval Perspectives, a massive work of 500 pages of text and 118 illustrations from medieval monastic manuscripts and religious sculpture and art. Critics were impressed by the extent of Robertson's reading in and grasp of primary sources, mainly in Latin and French, and secondary literature in every major European language as far back as the 19th century. Lynn Staley, Harrington and Shirley Drake Professor of the Humanities and Medieval and Renaissance Studies at Colgate University and one of Robertson's students, described it thus. His major study, a preface to Chaucer 1962, challenged medieval studies when its tenets were increasingly influenced by the new criticism. He insisted on the priority of primary texts in interpreting the hierarchical Augustinian culture of the Middle Ages. It was also intimidating to medievalists of his generation, most of whom had never seen any new. As late as 1965, medievalist and folklore scholar Francis Lee Utley called it a strange hodgepodge, insulting to the community of scholars and, indeed, to the 20th century itself. Scholarly supporters of Robertson's critical school gathered in March 1967 at the first annual conference of the Center for Medieval and Early Renaissance Studies at State University of New York at Binghamton, an event often referred to among medievalists as the Courtly Love Conference. The volume of papers from this conference, published the following year, has retained its importance as a watershed in the spread of a new paradigm of the concept of medieval courtly love. Teaching at Princeton Robertson was a popular and engaging lecturer, and his seminars were usually full. Professor Staley has summarized his approach as follows. His gift for impersonation gave life to the dead. He could stage a conversation between John of Gaunt and John Wycliffe as though he had been a fly on the wall, or recount Ovid's tales in a Carolina accent, and with down-home details that made them as meaningful as they are slyly ironic. These include Robert P. Miller, Paul Olson, Chauncey Wood, John V. Fleming, Alan T. Gaylord, David La Jeffrey, Mark Pellin, and Lynn Staley. Robertson retired from Princeton at the age of 65 in 1980. In his honor, Princeton University Press published Essays in Medieval Culture, 1980, a collection of 24 of his essays. Among them are some of Robertson's bold attempts to extend the application of Robertsonianism beyond the confines of the Middle Ages to Renaissance art Leonardo, 16th century literature Sidney, Shakespeare's Hamlet, and beyond Alexander Pope. Family Robertson married Betty Mick Lean Hansen in 1937. 
They had one daughter, Susanna Howley, and two sons, Durant Waite Robertson, Roman III, and Douglas Robertson. Retirement Robertson's research and retirement took him in the direction of the social historical context of literature, an interest he had occasionally expressed earlier. He did it so well that scholar Peter J. Badler included one of Robertson's later essays, Simple Signs from Everyday Life in Chaucer, 1981, in a bibliography of Marxist approaches to Chaucer. Robertson would be shocked, but also no doubt amused, at this gesture. Death Suffering from declining health, Robertson entered a retirement home near his home in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, where he died in 1992. Influence Alan T. Gaylord, Dartmouth College, Robertson's A Preface to Chaucer, Studies in Medieval Perspectives, was and is quite simply the most important book on Chaucer in the 20th century. The exegetics remains apparently against all odds, the great unfinished business of medieval studies. Stephen Justice, University of California, Berkeley. Robertson shows something important. Ronald Salmon Crane, on hypotheses in historical criticism, apropos of certain contemporary medievalists. The idea of the humanities and other essays critical and historical. Chicago, University of Chicago Press, 1968, V2, 236 minus 260, 1965. Francis Lee Utley, Robertsonianism Redivivus, Romance Philology 19, 250 minus 260, 1967-68. A. Lee Deneef, Robertson and the Critics, Chaucer Review 2, 205 minus 234, 1967. Paul Thainer, Robertsonianism and the Idea of Literary History. Studies in Medieval Culture, 6 minus 7, 195 minus 204, 1982. M. A. Manzale, Uwe. Robertson and Alois. Downside Review, 100. 208 minus 289, 1987. Lee Patterson. Historical Criticism and the Development of Chaucer Studies. Negotiating the Past. Madison W.I., University of Wisconsin Press, 1 minus 40, S. 26 minus 36, 1996. Lynn Staley. Durant Waite Robertson, Jr., Department of English. Luminaries. Princeton Faculty Remembered. Edited Patricia H. Marks. Princeton NJ Association of Princeton Graduate Alumni. 229 minutes, 234. Gaylord Allen T. 2006. Reflections on D. W. Robertson, Jr. and Exegetical Criticism. Chaucer Review. 43. 311.33. DOI. 10.1353 slash CR. 2006.3. ISIN 9 minutes, 2002. Justice Stephen, Stephen, 2009. Ustol Robertson, PMLA, Modern Language Association, 124-2-609-15, doi, 10.1632 slash PMLA, 2009.124, 2.609, isn't 30 minutes 8,129, SDCID 162,260,035, Essay has bibliography of other works discussing Robertson's legacy and influence. Publications Books 1951 Fears Plowman and Scriptural Tradition with Bernard F. Hupp Princeton University Press 1962 A Preface to Chaucer Studies in Medieval Perspectives Princeton University Press 1963 Fright and Chaff Studies in Chaucer's Allegories with Bernard F. Hupp, Princeton University Press, 1968, Chaucer's London, John Wiley and Sons, 1970, The Literature of Medieval England, McGraw-Hill, 1972, Abelard and Helois, Dial Press, 1980, Essays in Medieval Culture, 
Princeton University Press, 1991. Lis Mejago's Meditations. As recorded by Abel Ghost. Acrazes Alenfane. Cleveland O.H., The Cobham, and Hatherton Press. 2017. Uncollected Essays. With a foreword by Paul A. Olson, 